Joining me now from Tel Aviv is Yoram Schweitzer. He's a former head of the Israeli military's counter-terrorism section and also an expert at the Israeli Institute for National Security Studies. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Now, as an Israeli citizen and a counter-terrorism expert, what were the first thoughts that came to your and your colleagues' mind when you saw those Brussels attacks unfolding? That, unfortunately, what was expected happened. I don't think it was... Uh strategically a surprise uh, because we anticipated, we thought, we saw that the uh, Islamic State has been preparing an international terror squads. What's your assessment of the effectiveness of the Belgian and European intelligence agencies in fighting these terrorist cells? I'm sure that the capabilities are there. I think that uh, the European security services, the intelligence corps in Europe have proven that they can fight a challenge, a security challenge, while they basically defunct most of the Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda affiliated attempts during the last decade. Now the perceived intelligence failures around the Brussels attacks are to many more than worrying. What do you think went wrong? Do you think these attacks could have been prevented? I think there was probably some malfunctions and some failures that cost dearly, but, and it should be checked. That's part of the drill of fighting terrorism. Not everything is going to be successful, not all the operations would be intercepted. Now, our latest security assessment uh, says that ISIL sent at least 400 attackers to Europe working in cells, and also schools of European fighters have returned to their countries. Realistically, do you think the intelligence agencies can monitor all suspects? Now, I think that security services, with the backing of the prime ministers, the leadership in the, those countries, should prepare for it, should allocate resources, should increase immensely the manpower, qualified manpower, of the intelligence corps, of the police. At the same time, it seems European countries are now breeding grounds for terrorism. Uh, Molenbeek, uh, the district of Brussels, for example, has been dubbed by some as jihadi central. What do you think it actually takes to penetrate these networks? It should be done very carefully because the heart, the basic part of, of the basic trick of terrorism is to try to solicit much harsher and indiscriminate response towards population. I think that police forces should get into a problematic neighborhoods and take care of those who are prone or involved in terrorism, but let the others live and basically even be assisted by the neighborhood. At some airports elsewhere, passengers are stopped before they even get into the terminal. Their baggage is screened and their documents are checked. Do you think that's something we should be doing here in Europe? And the trick is to try to let the people move as freely as they can, to not to interrupt and not to disrupt the freedom of, of movement, but then to be prepared for suspected people who are intending to carry out terrorist attacks. But, but we must not capitulate and totally turn up, upside down our way of life in Europe and other places as well. So in light of the Brussels attacks and also the attacks that we saw in Paris last year, do you think this is all a wake-up call for Europe? It should have been a wake-up call a long time ago. I hope now that it is, it sunk in the minds of those who are responsible for allocating the resources. Joram Schweitzer in Tel Aviv, thank you for speaking to us.